So explaining a little bit about pad work. All right, we have a variety of uh, ways we can uh, hold pads. We've got combinations, name combinations. We've also got our pad symbols. Uh, and that is just kind of like for a person to learn to react to the symbol. So the person's moving around. If I flash out the pad here, jab. It's away from my face, okay, or cross. Notice how when I hold the pads, I don't hold them out wide. That puts a lot of pressure on your shoulders. I want to hold the pads in front of my face. That way I can add a little bit more resistance. Also, when I'm holding the pads, I don't want to resist too much. So for a jab, I don't want to slam the pad into somebody's fist. I just want to hold it up and add just a slight little bend, a slight little bit of resistance there. Same for the cross. Just a slight little bit of resistance, not too much. If I'm holding for a roundhouse kick, I want to make a triangle with the pads. I want to tuck my elbows into my body. Okay, I don't want to do this. I don't want to have my elbows away from my body and padding like that. I want to tuck those elbows in and I want to make sure I step back so I can resist against the kick. I've got a little bit more stability when I hold. So again, my elbows are tucked into my rib cage. Another thing I see people do is they go like that and hold the pads like that. Right? I want to hold the pads a little bit of an angle when you're holding the pads properly. So a little bit of an angle that allows them to uh, turn into their kick. I want to make sure you hit with the rounded part of your shin, not the flat part of your shin. Another thing we can do when we're doing our pad work is we can flash our belly pad. Okay, That means to teep. Flash that belly pad, teep. When you're also holding for pads, it's nice to just mix it up. Okay, just mixing it up. You don't always have to do the same thing, just mixing it up. So it can be very simple and it can still be a good hard workout. You wanna make sure pad work simulates somewhat of a fight. So it should be adding a little bit of resistance as a pad holder, flowing a little bit, moving around so it's not just stationary. So that makes uh, pad work a little bit more um, challenging uh, than bag work because you're moving around. The bag is stationary, your opponent isn't stationary, so it's nice to be moving around. Okay. Symboled combinations and single shots. We've got our jab, our cross, teeps or push kicks, roundhouse kicks, elbow. It's a little bit closer to my face, right? So they can step in range. Elbow, straight punch. Hooks, I want to make sure it's lined up with the middle of my body, not out wide. Okay, hooks, uppercuts, roughly about shin height. Holding for knees, rear knee, lead knee. I like to hold just along there, so when they're hitting, they want to hit into the, both the belly pad and the thigh pad. Sometimes people go like this, above the belly pad, um, which is not a bad thing. You can do that if it helps you out. But what I find is a lot of times then you scuff up your knee right there on these little uh, logos. So here, when you're throwing that knee, you want to make sure you hit at an angle. So you hit both the belly pad and tie pad. That means your knee's coming up at an angle, up like an elevator, uh, more out like an angle, like an escalator. So you drive your knee in, if that makes sense. getting into some combinations. Jab, rear knee. Jab, cross, lead knee. All right, now I don't specifically call these out all the time, all right, unless somebody's new to this, I wanna make sure they become aware of it. I want them to kind of visually see when to throw something, looking for the openings. So how I can do this as a, a pad holder to help somebody out is I just, Say it, rear knee, lead knee. I go like this with the pads. All right, jab cross to this pad that I'm shaking, then hook, then a rear roundhouse kick. Second combination, I go like this, lead hook, cross, lead roundhouse. So, 
jab cross, lead hook, through a roundhouse, lead hook, cross, lead roundhouse. Some other combinations for you. Rear uppercut, lead hook, cross, lead roundhouse. Lead uppercut, cross, hook, rear roundhouse. Again, lead uppercut, cross, hook, rear roundhouse. Jab, rear uppercut, lead hook, cross, lead roundhouse. Jab, rear uppercut, lead hook, cross, lead roundhouse. Jab, cross, lead uppercut, cross, hook, rear roundhouse. Four combinations, so that's basically our up series. Rear uppercut, lead hook, cross, lead roundhouse. Lead uppercut, cross, hook, rear roundhouse. Jab, rear uppercut, lead hook, cross, lead roundhouse. Jab, cross, lead uppercut, cross, hook, rear roundhouse. Okay. So as a pad holder, one of the things you can also do to make it more challenging to begin to simulate a fight for your athlete is not only holding, so they're offensively throwing, whether it's punches, elbows, knees or kicks after and before they throw their combinations or techniques you can throw something back at them make sure they block or evade that's something to make it a little bit more challenging a uh, good pad holder learns to help to simulate a fight for your athlete so a lot of times uh, it's not just about giving them a hard workout. It's also making sure you're correcting their technique, whether it's like they're dropping their hands. Say they throw a jab and they drop their hand afterwards. That's where I'd throw a punch back at them with a pad. Okay, so that will, make, that will help them to make sure they're checking uh, their stance, checking their guard. Hope that helps. Slam. Uh, 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 uh